Hi, this is Dr. Post with the part two of the test five review. I'm going to talk about the medium questions, one through five, 14, 16, 17, 25, 28 through 30. These are medium because they take a little bit longer to do or they're just a little bit more difficult. Um, and there are 12 of them. So that's about a third of all the problems. Okay, so I'm looking at the first one, number one. It says they want me to convert 105 miles per hour. So this is number one. I've got 105 miles per hour, and they want me to convert that to feet per second. So the first thing I'm gonna think about is changing to feet. So I've got miles and miles. One mile is 5,280 feet. So I'm done with that. Now I need to do hours to seconds. So I need hours on top to cancel with hours on bottom. I'm gonna to change to minutes first. So one hour is 60 minutes. Then I'm going to have a last fraction here that converts minutes to seconds so that the minutes can cancel. 60 seconds is one minute. So what I would do is I would multiply 105 times 5280 and then divide by 60 and then divide by 60 again. And my answer for this question ended up being 154. Yeah. No, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that was number one. So I, that was a medium because you had three unit fractions that you had to put in there in order to answer the question. Okay, so let's look at number two. Number two wants 6.6 .6 square yards, 6.6 .6 yards squared converted to square feet. So I know that I need a yard down here to cancel and I need to convert to feet. One yard is three feet, but I need a second yard because I had two of them because they were yard squared. So in the end, these two will cancel with that and my answer will be 6.6 .6 times 3 times 3, and it will be feet squared. I believe the answer for that was 59.4. That way you can check your work if you're following along with my numbers, or if not, you're probably just working your questions as we go. Okay, so let's look at question number 3, which I believe is another conversion. So... Let's see, I have Jennifer decides to take a bike ride on a trail that is six kilometers long. So she's going six kilometers. And we want to um, convert this to miles. And they give us that one kilometer is 0.62 miles. So I need to have kilometers down below, convert to miles. One kilometer is 0.62 miles, kilometers cancel. 6 times 0.62 is 3.72 um, miles, and that's my answer. Okay, let's look at number 4. 4, they say, which distance, 19 miles or 38 kilometers, is greater? So 19 miles versus 38 kilometers. So let me just convert miles to kilometers. So I'm going to cancel miles by making it in the bottom. In the previous question, they told me that one kilometer is 0.62 miles. So if I do 19 divided by 0.62, let's see what I get. I get 30.65. And those are kilometers. So the 38 kilometers was bigger, and then I need to, in the answer, give them that 19 miles converted to 30.65. All right, let's look at question five. Five is similar to four. It says, um, which volume, eight quarts or 24 liters is larger? So eight quarts versus 24 liters. 
So let me take eight quarts and change it to liters. So I need quarts down here. What is the relationship between quarts and liters? I'm gonna open up the table they give me. One liter equals 1.06 quarts. One liter is 1.06 quarts. So I would cancel quarts. Eight divided by 1.06 is, oops, eight divided by 1.06 is 7.55. So 24 liters is bigger than and that's my answer. All right, so that's one through five. Let's look at question 14. 14, what they want me to do is um, find the deviations from the mean for the set of data. So I've got 24, 30, 17, 22, and 22. So, um, and they want me to give them the deviations from the mean. So they rewrote them vertically, which is fine. 30, 17, 22, 22. So the first thing I need to do is find the mean. So the mean, which I'm gonna call X bar, equals those five numbers added up. So I'm gonna go 24 plus 30 plus 17 plus 22 plus 22 divided by five is 23. So the mean for this problem is 23. So I'm gonna subtract 23 from each individual score. And then the deviations that they're asking for will go right here. So this is one, 30 minus 23 is seven, 17 minus 23 is negative six, 22 minus 23 is negative one, and negative one again. So those are the answers for that, which isn't too bad. Um, which is why I made it a medium question, but it is a bit lengthy. So, all right, let's scoot to number 16. So 16 uses this formula, which is X minus the mean over the standard deviation gives us the Z-score. So it says, in the wild, monkeys eat an average of 26 bananas, so that's an average, so that's gonna be right there, um, with a standard deviation of three, so that goes there. One monkey eats only 17, so that's the individual monkey. They want me to find the z-score. So 17 minus 26 is negative nine, divided by three is negative three. Then they asked me, is this unusual? And the answer is yes, it's unusually low, because anything that's either below negative two or above two is going to be unusual. All right, let's move on to number 17. 17 is a similar question. I'm gonna use the same formula. A police car is driving down the highway at 73 miles per hour. So that's the individual police car. Um, the average speed of drivers on the highway is 58. So that's my average and the standard deviation is six. So they want me to find the z-score. 73 minus 58 is 15 divided by six is 2.5. Is this unusually high? Yes, because it's beyond the two. Let's move along to question 25. 25 um, has us do an additional step on those variation questions. So we did a couple easy ones. These next two, well, this one at least is medium because we have one more step to do. So it says if y varies inversely as x, y varies inversely as x. So I would write that as y equals k, inversely means the x goes under. So there's my equation. They want me to find the constant of variation when y equals seven and x equals two. So I would put a seven for y and a two for x. To solve that, I would multiply. 
So k is 14. That's the first question they're asking me. The constant of variation k is 14. And now they want me to write the inverse equation. Well, this was my inverse equation. I'm just going to rewrite it, replacing the k with its numerical value. And this is the answer for that. So that takes a few steps. It's really not difficult, but you have to make sure that you understand that process and which steps they're asking for based off what they say. Okay, so now we're going to do 28 through 30. Um, 28 has to do with functions. So I've got f of x equals 6x squared um, plus 13. So what I'm going to do on my calculator is I'm going to type in the problem like that. For a, they want me to find f of 4. So I'm going to put a 4 in. And if I type in the parentheses and everything, then my calculator will give me the correct answer according to the order of operations. So that answer is 109. The nice thing about having it in the calculator is that for the next part, negative 2, you can just go up into your calculator and replace that with a negative 2. The parentheses are going to keep the sign correct, and that's the main reason why I emphasize the parentheses. Your answer should end up being 37. Um, remember, you can insert in the calculator to give yourself the extra space to accommodate that negative if you're not sure how to do that. Okay, C is asking for f of 0, so I can erase this and make it a 0, and I'll get 13. And then finally, D is f of 1 third, so I would erase this and put 1 fraction 3. They want your answer as a fraction simplified, which your calculator will do. So my answer is 41 over 3. All right, let's look at 29. So 29 is similar to this. We've got A, B, C, D. Let's see what our original function is. Um, F of x equals negative 5x minus 6. So on my calculator, I would do negative 5 parentheses and put my value in there. So a is f of 8. So this should be negative 46. Um, b is f of negative 4. So I'm going to replace my 8 with a negative 4. I should get 14. c is f of 0. Replace this with a 0. We'll get negative 6. And then D is F of 1 7th. You know, the good news about these questions, um, number 28 and 29, is that even if the fraction gives you trouble, you can get 3 fourths of the credit for this problem by doing the three easier pieces of it. So at least do the pieces that you can do if you're in a you know, situation on the test where you're running out of time or something like that. All right, and the last medium categorized question is number 30. So on question 30, they give f of x equals 11x plus 12. f of x equals 11x plus 12. And in the first part, they want you to find f of 1 find f of 1. So this means I'm going to put a 1 where the x was. So what do I get? 11 plus 12 is 23. Now the second part says find x when f of x equals 2. So this time you're going to replace the f of x with a 2. So you're going to write 2 equals 11x plus 12 and then solve that equation. So negative 10 equals 11x, divide by 11, x equals negative 10 over 11. All right, and that concludes the medium questions for chapter, or test five review.